All right, our next step is going to be to set up the singularity functions in order to plot the shear and bending moment diagrams. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up a range of values for plotting. Okay, and I'm going to do this as your textbook did. I'm going to say x, the colon. And in order to enter a range, uh, I'm going to start out, let's see, at 0 inches, comma, all right, now the best way to enter a range is using this range variable tool uh, here on the matrix toolbar. If you can't find it, you can click up here, vector matrix toolbar. All right. I'm going to click here on range variable. Okay, now I'm going to enter my next value after zero. That's going to be 0 0.002 times L. And I'm going to do this all the way through L. Now, if you're curious what that does, I can go down here and type x equals, and you'll see I get a whole list of values here for x. Well, we don't need to see all those values, so I'm just going to delete that now. Uh, click, right click, drag, or excuse me, left click, drag, delete. Now, for the singularity functions. Okay, I'm going to define a function that is going to represent uh, our singularity function. Uh, specifically the um, if it's greater than this one otherwise zero so I'm gonna call it s parentheses x comma z parentheses colon okay now that indicates to MathCAD this is going to be a function and that in order to calculate s it's going to need a value for x and a value for z now MathCAD has an if statement kinda like you'd see in Excel I'm gonna type if in a parentheses now, if you're working with this and you can't remember the function that you're looking for, let me just delete this. I can go up here, and there's a button that says Insert Function. And let's see. Now, this should be some type of an if function. Uh, let's scroll over here to Function Name and look for I. Here we go. If. If. So from what this is telling us, first thing is condition, comma, what to return if this is true, what to return if this is false. I'm going to click insert. Click OK. And oops, I got too many ifs going here. I think I clicked if that clicked that a few too many times. So I'm going to highlight that, delete it. So if. Well, if x is greater than or equal to z. To get that symbol, easiest thing is to go up here, click on Boolean Toolbar. It'll pop up on your screen. And go ahead and select this greater than or equal symbol. I put a Z. Okay, now if X is greater than Z, this is going to have a value of 1. Otherwise, it's going to have a value of 0. I'm hit Enter. So this is now a function. So I can say S, and let's say X is 2 inches and z is 4 inches. What do you think the results should be on that? Okay, we got a 0. Well, what if I change z to 1 inch? I should get a 1. Yep, it's working. So now I'm going to create a function for the uh, shear, and then I can plot that function. So I'm going to go v of x colon r sub 1 times s and again this is not a refresher on singularity functions I'm simply typing uh, what they had in the solution manual this is how to uh, use MathCAD not how to use singularity functions we don't have time for that for uh, in this video okay so I am following along this is pretty uh, straightforward typing this equation in And look at it real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, all right, now for the bending moment function.
me just check my typing real quick. Now remember to get those literal subscripts. You just type a period and as you're typing it in, as we see here, you can see the periods that I've typed in. All right, so that's my bending moment function. So what you've now learned how to do in this part of the video is set up functions.